Hi everyone. Today we are going to be looking at union. What is union or what is the union operator used for? It is used to combine the results of two or more select statements. Okay? It is used to combine the results of two or more select statements to obtain a single result. Okay? Now, if you remember in our previous video, we have learned how to use the inner join left join right join and full outer join if you have not watched those videos i highly encourage you to go watch those i'll put the link to those videos in the description uh section below okay now union is used to combine the result of two or more select statements to obtain a single result now when you are also using union it removes any duplicate rows between the different select statements so let's say you are combining two select statements together okay if there is any duplicate between those two select statements union is going to remove those duplicate rows okay one other thing also you need to know right here is that this select statement needs to have the same number of columns that means for your table one you need to and your table two you need to have the same number of columns and similar data types and similar data types for this to be successful okay let us take a look at a an example right here okay you we have a table that is called test custom test underscore customer table and also test underscore rental table now let's assume we want to have a select statement right here and we want to combine it with this second select statement right here now what are we what is the column or the field that we are trying to obtain we want to obtain customer id column from this test underscore customer table and we also also want to combine it with this customer id column from this re test rental table okay you can see that in the previous slide we said that we said that that this select statement needs to have the same number of columns right so in this case we have customer id we have customer id that is one column right there okay same column uh some column names and also similar data type this is customer id the data type of this is integer and this also is integer right here in custom id then when we join these two table what happens or these two select statement take note that we are not joining the the whole of this table this is different from the inner join the right join or the full outer join that we did okay this is a union right union operator so in this case this is joining two or more select statements but in this case that we are doing it we are select we are joining two select statements together using this union okay now if you look at this let us try to understand what we have in this our uh, output table okay or our result when we join this customer id with this customer id remember we said for union we are going to have what we are going to have the duplicate any duplicate being removed okay so let us take a look at this result you can see that we have one right here we also have one right here okay remember that we are joining so because i have one right here it's going to give me this one right here in, in my customer id my resulting table okay but because this is union and we say union is going to remove duplicate because of that it's going to return for us a single one okay now let us go to two this customer id two we have a two right here and therefore we also have two right here we don't have two right here that's fine so we will return two right here this is three we have three here we also have three right here okay so because of that we are going to also put three here remember this is union therefore instead of having three two instead of having two threes we are only going to have one three because union removes duplicate okay the same thing applies here customer id4 we have customer id4 right here which is this right here we have 
another customer id for here this is four 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 right so we have three of them here we are not going to put them again right here because union give returns a unique or a distinct uh row right because of that we will just return only one four right here then five we are going to have five right here we know that we don't have the five we don't have five right here which is fine also we have a six right here and because of that we are going to return six here even though we don't have any six right here i hope you guys see that right now what we did basically right here is to stack the customer id of from here and from here but because we are using union what is happening is that it is removing duplicate for us it doesn't want to union will not make you to have duplicate entry okay there is also another one that is called union all we are going to see that when we write when you write when we write this query in pg admin for union all that is going to retain the duplicate so that means that if you don't want to remove duplicate instead of using union all you would have to i mean instead of using union you would have to use union all if you want to retain the duplicate okay all right guys let us jump to pg admin and write some uh query right here okay let me take this away so now i have this test customer table which i have uh uh, shown to you previously right here let's just take just quickly take a look at what we have in that uh table okay let's quickly take a look at what we have if i run that you can see we have these five rows customer id one two three four five let us also see what we have in in the test rental table just so we have an idea of what we are dealing with okay so if i highlight this and then i execute you can see we have rental id cost of id and inventory id now let's assume we want to do a union of this of these two select statement this is a select statement this is another select statement if you remember what I told you just a few minutes ago, right? I told you that for you to join two select statements together, you need to have the same number of fields, right? And also they need to have similar data types. Okay? But if you look at what we just did right, right now, for test customer table, we have customer ID, which has the same uh data type with the customer id in the rental table but then for the customer test customer table it has first name and last name those are strings they are characters but for rental table we have rental id and inventory id also those are integers so because of that let us run this let us see what we are going to get so this is a selector from test customer we want to union it to selector from test renter let us run all this query let's see what we get you can see we have an error right here it says union types character varying and integer cannot be matched so that means that you cannot union uh, a particular column that is character varying with another column that is an integer that is not going to be accepted but in this case what about if we have customer underscore id from the test customer table we now want to join it with the customer id in the test rental table in this case we know that this is just only one column which satisfies what we just said we, we need to have the same number of columns and also they need to be of the same data type customer id here is an integer customer id here is also an integer therefore if i run this query what do i get execute very good you can see right here that what i showed you just a few minutes ago on my slide is what we obtained you can see right here that we have two five four six three and one even though we are we we, we are doing a union 
between two select statements okay we are still not getting a lot of the customer id right because the union is going to remove duplicates so that means that any customer id that is already in the test customer table and also that is in test rental table will not appear twice it will only appear once okay i hope you guys understand it right now if i go back to the powerpoint you can see that customer id one is here it is also here we are supposed to see it as two ones in this resulting table but because it is union it removes one of them therefore you have only one one right here because it needs to be unique if you look at where we have four right here we have customer id four which is one time right here we also have customer id four which is four three times right here you are supposed to be seeing customer id four to be four to be four times in this table right but you only see it in one one time right here that is because union has removed duplicate do you understand that now guys let us see let us see what we are going to get if we peradventure do a union all right here let us do a union all right here and let us see what we are going to get if i say union all and then i execute very good you can see what we got here right there guys that in our customer id in our test customer table the customer id is one two three four five you can see that right here which i can quickly show you here from the test customer is one two three four five you can see that and then it now start to the customer id in the test rental table which is four four one three four six four 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 one three four six if you come right here four four one three four six can you see that right now guys can you see that for union all we can easily we can easily see how we start one the select start the select uh, statement from one to the select statement of the other okay because in this case we are not removing duplicates by using union all you can see how they are stacked right here but by the time you take out this and then by the time you take out the all and just do only union you are still stacking but what is happening is that duplicates are, are going to be removed you're only going to see the distinct values okay from both tables okay so in that case this one we, we have one right you can see one and another one so you have two ones then the, when we do you know you are going to have only one one okay if you look at this we have three right here this is only three right here we are going to have only one three when we do union you have four how many four one two three four you have four fours if we do union you are going to have only one four let us execute guys can you see now can you see now guys now do you understand i hope you now understand the difference between union and union all and even how this differs from when you are doing a left join inner join right join and a full outer join i hope this is cleared right now all right guys if you are new on this channel i highly encourage you to please subscribe to our channel so that you can uh you can enjoy more of our awesome videos okay and also click on the bell so that of uh, so that you can be notified whenever we release any of our videos okay don't forget to like our video as you know when you when you like it the more you like it the better we are uh the youtube algorithm uh places us or rank us higher okay all right guys i'll see you in the next class bye